arrived at the vintage house. This is a home for the next two days. It is very beautiful here, very, very beautiful. Next to the river, there's river boats. There's a train that runs by here. There's vineyards around us. Um, I guess it was a it was a wine cellar and a winery at one point. It's in the center of the uh, center of the Douro Valley, which uh, is the heart of the winemaking region here in Portugal, particularly for port. And it's just beautiful. I mean, we're right on the river. Our accommodation is stunning. It's this gorgeous two-room suite. Um, and you know, everywhere you look, there's vines and there's flowers. There's a beautiful bridge right over there. And, um, just lovely. The place is just lovely. It has a wonderful energy and vibe to it. Highly recommend it. The Vintage House. Um, I have trouble pronouncing the name of the town we're in, but I'll get back to you on that or or, uh, or you'll perhaps see it at the bottom of the uh, video right now. Located in the Douro Valley, Pinhao is a small village that sits on the banks of the Douro River. It's best known for its stunning scenery as well as being one of the main port wine producing regions in the world. One of the things I noticed about Pinhao was its picturesque setting. The town is surrounded by rolling hills covered in vineyards and the Douro River provides a beautiful backdrop. It feels like you're transported back in time as the town has managed to maintain its traditional character with many buildings and streets still remaining their original architecture. And that was rush hour traffic. Right. If you ever seen any. <laughs> The writers, please. Oh, you 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 did a. Uh, oh, I bet you did Google Translate. No, no, it's the writers' place. The writers yeah, place. it is the writers' place. Yeah, it's like my home here. I found it. It's right here. This is no accident. This is why this feels so good, so wonderful. See, it's speaking to me because I'm a writer. Okay. There's a perpetual rush hour going through here, so we're gonna move out and go up to the room. The Vintage House is a beautiful hotel that combines traditional Portuguese architecture with modern amenities. From the moment we arrived, we were blown away by the stunning views of the surrounding vineyards and the Douro Valley. Hello. How are you? Now it does make sense. Well, the barrels. Yeah. yeah. And they have those chairs that are made out of wine barrels. The rooms at the Vintage House are spacious and well appointed with traditional decor and comfortable furnishings. I especially appreciated the private balconies which offer breathtaking views of the valley. The restaurant and bar is in the side. So we're at the Vintage House um, in the Douro Valley, the center of the Douro Valley, and this place is just stunning. It's beautiful. The views are beautiful, the rooms are beautiful, the public spaces are beautiful, and they have a wonderful, relaxed uh, Mediterranean energy. It's just spectacular. We are only here two nights, but two weeks would have been good. <laughs> One of the highlights of our stay at the Vintage House was the food. The hotel has its own restaurant, which serves a delicious array of local dishes made with fresh ingredients sourced from the surrounding area. Quinta do Moral is a beautiful winery nestled in the heart of the Douro Valley, surrounded by stunning landscapes of rolling hills, 
wineries and historical villages. This family-owned winery is dedicated to producing high-quality wines that reflect the unique terroir of the Douro region. <laughs> Today, Miguel and his family yeah, are proud to continue the yeah. winemaking tradition started by his father at Quinto do Moral. Ooh, this smells nice. Mm -hmm. We get used to this wine. <laughs> The wine from the bar, the white wine. Wow, smells wonderful. The wine is not complaining. Uh, so you, you can hear? Yeah. <laughs> you understand the wine? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's wine not complaining. <laughs> so welcome. What Thank do you, you know about Ford? We know we like it very yeah, much. Like it. It's yummy. We drink it. We didn't know it was from here. It's the only... <laughs> The only region in the world that makes port. All the rest is imitation. Like champagne. Only like one champagne. place. Is there a port from anywhere else but here? No, that's what he said. No. Okay. Port, is, but uh, you you come from the United States? Yeah. Yes. You have port in California. You oh, really? In Texas. Ah. Like port, yes. But it's not it's port. Not. But it's not port because it's not from Portugal. Like, yeah. like lavender. Lavendine and lavender, right? You can't, it's not really, yeah, like champagne. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so the that you have in port is from the grapes. Okay. We are not French, we don't put sugar in the wine. <laughs> do the French put sugar in the wine? Of course. <laughs> they do? Okay. It's called chaptalization. It's perfectly normal because they don't have the, the, the weather that we have here. Okay. So they have to increase the alcohol. They increase the alcohol, they have to put sugar. Okay, I see. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we, we stop the fermentation adding brandy, increase the alcohol, but we keep the sugar. So, so you, you, can you mix the wine and the brandy? We have brandy made of wine, okay. it's still from wine, yeah, yeah. and when start the fermentation, what is the fermentation? The fermentation is the yeast, yeast is the bug, yeah. it's sugar, right. you are filming, mm -hmm. uh, it, with song. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so children, uh, tap your ears. Uh, and sheets also. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I've never heard it put quite that way before, but it's good. It's, it's the like fermentation. That. I like that. So when we when we put the the brandy, we in Portuguese we say aguardente, mm -hmm. uh, water on fire, seventy seven percent alcohol. Is that what aguardiente is? Aguardiente is a brandy mm -hmm. made of wine. It's still from wine or grapes. Okay. 77% alcohol. The volume of alcohol is 77%. So we kill the yeast. We increase the alcohol, but we kill the yeast, we stop the fermentation. It's a fortified wine. Like Madeira, like Xerez. Uh, port is made like that. So the alcohol content in port is very... We are obliged to keep our always between 18 and 22. Oh, okay. That is our, so normally we aim for the middle, 20. Yeah. Yeah. That is the normal, okay? So we have white grapes and red grapes like everybody. So we make white port and uh, red port and something in between that we call really? pink port. Yeah. Now, I never knew until we came to Portugal that they had white port. Of course. Uh, yeah, well, I had my first glass a couple of days ago in Porto, but I had never had white port before. Yeah. It's good. I like the red better, but it's good. And in the reds, we have two kinds, the ruby and the tony. Ruby goes young to the bottle, H in the bottle. You know the vintage port. Vintage port is the top category of a ruby, so we age in the bottle. The tony is the other way, H first in the barrel and then goes to the bottle. Why? So when you buy an old white or an old tony, don't waste your time to put it in the cellar. You can drink it because it's ready. Okay? So we have two kinds of tastings here. You choose. We can taste white versus tony. So we try the 10 white, 10 tony, 20 white, 20 tony, and so on. Or we can taste the mother wine the, of the tony and the tony. What is the mother wine? It's the oldest in the blend. So we can try directly from the, the vat and then in a bottle, or we can try the white and the tonic, you choose. 
Mm. What do you prefer? I, I'm, I'm seduced by the idea of drinking it right out of the barrel, I have to say. <laughs> um, so I, I, I think I'm leaning towards that because the white is interesting, but what would you choose? Uh, he drinks it all the time. Yeah. But that's why. He's he used knows. to it. He knows. I'm choosing blind. I don't know what one is like versus the other. So. But in the end, I can, I can uh, give you a, a taste of the white. We, choose, we say the mother and then we okay. choose okay. one white. Okay. So the one thing the video can't capture is how amazing it smells in here. Oh, and then what, so just cup it? Oh, the yeah. smell is amazing. Here again. So. so, let's start with the mother of the ten years. Come. Okay. Ten years. Mother. Okay. I, I don't want to just a teeny bit, right? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Otherwise you open it up. Yeah. Otherwise you're gonna... Where is he going to dump the whole thing? Oh, this is exciting. Oh, man. Mm, I like it. This is 10 year. No, this is a wine from 2000. Okay. 2000. It's the mother of the 10 years old. What ah, we call okay. the mother wine. We pick up. Uh, a mother wine, so it's the, the oldest in the blend. It's the characteristic that we want in the end, in the end oh. of the blend. And we add some other wines to make average 10 years. I see, I okay. see, okay. okay. Because it's the average. 10 okay. years, uh, when you buy a Tony or a white, 10 years okay. is average because they are blend. Yeah. This is from 2000? Yeah. So it's been in here for 22 years? Yeah. That's Not right. here. It's been in several... It's been uh, different it's, it's casts. Years since uh, 15 years. Okay. Filtration, the approval by the IVDP, because everything has to be approved by them. So, what's the approval process? They come here? No. We, what we do, we take, out the, we take out the, the wines from the barrel, we make the blend, we filter, and it's ready to go to the bottle, so we send four bottles to the institute and I say I want to approve this like a 10 years old mm -hmm. and then they say yes or no okay. yes you can and then we have to send the label to be approved also wow and so the process. label and the back label and they say yes and then after that you can okay. bottle label and sell it so that so what's in the barrel is called the mother what's in yeah. the bottle is called the son it's my way of oh your way of explaining okay. explaining okay. Yeah, yeah yeah the child because, of the yeah. yeah because the mother is the oldest and then we yes, mix yes. things mix and it becomes yeah the child I get that the child that works That's kind how of old is this building oh more than two hundred years wow and the barrels more than than one hundred years so do you have to do redo this ceiling or is this original no the only thing is original the only thing that I put was some wood. Uh, the new wood, you see the... Mm -hmm. Yeah, wood. yeah. It's the only thing that I put. And this, with time, gets dark. Age, yeah. Again, why? Because the evaporation of port. Mm -hmm. If you see the roof outside, it's yeah. black. From the port? Yeah, for the evaporation okay. of port. Oh. So you, you can't hide port. <laughs> yeah. The evaporation, it turns the, 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 the ceilings black. That's Even amazing. outside. That's oh. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. That is smooth. This is uh, children, club your ears again. <laughs> what wow. is a Tony? What is a old Tony? It's a menage a trois in your mouth. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Alcohol, sweetness, acidity. <laughs> Oh wow! Without that, it's boring. Yeah. That because the complexity. That what? What are the three? Alcohol, sweetness, acidity. Okay. 
That's awesome. That's that, he's a very good descriptor. Oh, right? he you're wonderful with words. He, you are just he, really he spectacular. You can understand. And English isn't even your first language, and you are really <laughs> spectacular with words. I am so impressed. That's wow. And that's because what you, that's what you smell when you walk in, right? Yeah. You smell smells like, mm-hmm. good. Oh, the smell is fantastic. It's like wood and I would wine like, like combined. Room freshener that just yeah. smells like port. That yeah. is really. I want that smell in my smell. basement. It's a wonderful so, smell. Let's try the mother of the twenty. <laughs> this is the mother of the twenty years old. Is a nineteen eighty four. Nineteen eighty four. That was uh, right before I graduated from college. That's a long time. Nineteen eighty four. No, I'm old. No. <laughs> Look at this old building, beautiful. Everything here is spectacular. <laughs> we love, we love the age. You know, we love, we love Europe. We don't have anything old enough in the U.S. Uh, when I, when I, I was there in California for the first time selling my wine, I said to them, my importer, we have more history in in the back of your car <laughs> than California. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> we have more history in the, the back oh, of yeah. your car. Oh than, yeah. Yeah. He's got I mean, more history about, in the back of his car than in California. About, yeah. But that's the thing about all of America. It's so yeah. young. Yeah. And you come to your it's just so much it's more. It's all there. It's yeah, so much more. The problem is we're getting we are getting old yeah. in our mind. You think? Yeah. Europe is getting old in the in the mind. That is the problem. I have a whole new understanding of port now that we visited and had some tastings. It's just mind-boggling what I didn't know before and what I know now. So, but this was a great, great experience. Great ambiance. This building, the energy coming from it, the port tasting, and just the history of this place was just amazing, you know. Uh, It made the testing even more enjoyable and more flavorful in experience. Uh, You know, being in that dark room with very little light, with, you know, all the history around you, you know, uh, from ages gone a long time ago, just in there, you know, with those barrels that are over a hundred years old. People do you employ? Mine, we are ten. Just ten? Mine. For this whole place? Yeah. Mine. That I make outsourcing. Ah. Okay. Okay. So normally we have uh, more eighteen. Okay. So for the picking and the... No, for all the year. In the picking we have normally more. Yeah, I would think. Uh, but uh, what in the picking what rules is the capacity of the seller to receive grapes. Ah, I see. Okay. So we can't uh, you don't just take get all you whatever, have. Yeah. no, it's impossible. So we have a rhythm. Normally it's 30 days. A normal year is 30 days from the start to the end mm-hmm. of the picking. The you, you don't stop. There's no holidays, no Saturdays, yeah, yeah, no yeah, Sundays, you nothing. Stop. You don't stop. Yeah. You see, when the comes the sun is warm. Mm-hmm. Yes, very warm. Very warm. <laughs> yeah, very warm yeah. Seeing that you see in the movies of the Italians, movies yeah. of yeah. the fifties, the, yeah. the the bell, the bell, yeah. yeah, yeah, the cypress, the, the, the whole, yeah. yeah, yeah, the whole thing, the vine. That makes your whole water. movie right there. Yeah, yeah. you can I end would it. I say this reminds me so much of you know Tuscany and other places we've been in parts of France, even a little bit over here, which is where our family. Look at the hill. Enjoy the rest. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it very much. That was an experience I was not expecting. Beyond what, yeah, what we thought. Yeah. Be, we've been to a lot of wine tastings, you know, over the years was really there was something very special about this one very special the next closest was um when we were in france and we went to that little farm with the vintner and the beautiful slicer and and 
mm -hmm. all of that. Um, it was, uh, that's the next closest to what we just experienced. But it was really... The wines produced at Quinto de Moral are a true expression of the Douro region showcasing the rich and diverse flavors of the region's grapes. The family is dedicated to producing wines that are both delicious and true to their region's heritage. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.